Hi, I'm Jenny, your English 101 librarian. In this video, I'll be sharing some research tips for your meme research assignment. The strategies and tools I show you will help you find sources for your annotated bibliography, but will also be applicable to other research that you do in class and in your life. So, your assignment asks you to select a meme and then find research relevant to that meme. You'll focus on political memes, so it's especially important to be careful that you're finding sources that are as authoritative, as unbiased, and as current as possible. In the library, we often refer to the authority, bias, and currency of a source as its ABCs. For research on political memes, you'll find lots of sources through Google. The first step is to make sure you understand the meme you've chosen. As an example, I'll look at this one with Bernie Sanders as the Joker. There are a few things happening here, including a reference to the Dark Knight movie when the Joker says that Gotham deserves a better class of criminal. But what's more important for me is the message that Bernie Sanders is a communist. That's what I'm going to focus my research on. There are lots of ways that I could go about investigating this, but the first thing I want to do is find out if Bernie Sanders actually is a communist. In Google, I can literally search that question. Is Bernie Sanders a communist? And start sifting through my results. I'll start with the first one here and take a look. Looking through our ABCs, we can start with authority. Who's the author here? If you do a quick glance, it looks like the author is Jim Hoft, but just below we see that this is a guest post by someone named Alistair. We don't really have any other information about this person. I can take a look at the About page to get more of a sense who's taking responsibility for all the content on this website. I can see here that this has been cited by Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, and other publications, but I know that all of these are very right-leaning, which makes me a little concerned about bias. I can also see here that Jim Hoft is an award winner, which is interesting, but it doesn't really mean that his guest posters are necessarily credible. All of this gets sticky when we're talking about controversial topics, and most political topics are controversial. What you want to look for is a source that seems balanced and well-sourced. You'll often have to follow a trail to figure out where the information actually came from. If you can't verify it, I wouldn't use it. In the case of this article, the trail takes me to another source, so it links out to the Libertarian Republic. I can then investigate this publication, looking for authority, bias, and making sure it has the most current information. One of the concerns I have, which I can kind of see right here in this thumbnail of the video they're referencing, is that this footage is from 1985. So they're making a point about Bernie Sanders based on information that is more than 30 years old. Currency is always relative, but when we're talking about currently active politicians, we really want to make sure we're finding the most up-to-date information that we can. Let's look at another source that came up in our results list in Google. I'm going to try this Atlantic Monthly article because it's a source that I recognize. I'll still go through the same process here. So. In this case, I've got an author, her name is a link, and I can click on that to find out more information about her. So I see here that she's a senior policy analyst at the Cato Institute Center for Liberty and Prosperity. I can highlight that, Google it, and find out more information about that particular institute. This is what I mean by following the trail of research. I can also see what other kinds of articles she's been writing for this publication, The Atlantic Monthly. I can also look again for some kind of contact page or about us page. In this case, under the menu, it looks like the writers page might be the most useful to give me information about the contributors to this publication. One thing I want to point out about this specific source is that it does a whole lot more sourcing than the last ones we looked at. By that I mean it refers to and links directly to other sources. A YouGov survey, a US News article from a Republican pollster, a 
an article from the Washington Post. So by linking directly to these sources, you're able to trace this author's research process. This helps you decide how accurate the information that she's writing actually is. So overall, I'm much more likely to use this source than the first one I looked at because I can actually follow the author's statements and do some fact checking myself. When you're looking for sources, you just wanna make sure that you're spending time investigating the author, the publication, and any claims that are made by the source. Next, I'm gonna to head to our English 101 research guide. From the library website, I'll click Research Guides by Subject, scroll through until I see English, click English 101, and then I'll select the tab for my instructor. This might look a little bit different than what you see on your screen, but all the content will be the same. From this page, I've linked a few good web resources that I think are gonna be useful to research political memes. So I'm gonna start with PolitiFact here, an open web resource that can help you check out information about political issues and political candidates. Project Vote Smart provides similar information. And finally, the Pew Research Center is a great place to find surveys and statistics and detailed reports of all different kinds of topics, from politics to cell phone use to religion. I also have some library databases linked here. A database is basically a searchable collection of information. Academic Search Complete, which is linked here, is a great place to find articles. I'm going to jump in and do a search similar to the one I did in Google. Is Bernie Sanders a communist? Long search strings like this don't work well in library resources. You can see here that there is a note that my initial search query didn't get any results. So it's best to break your search down into the most important terms. In this case, I'm going to try Bernie Sanders in my top box and communist or communism. I could try either one. What you'll find in Academic Search Complete is articles, magazine, newspaper, and scholarly ones. It's important to note that what's in here isn't automatically authoritative, unbiased, and current. You still want to use those ABCs when you're looking at these sources as well. What you can feel confident about is that you won't find things here that are completely unvetted, like personal blogs. The articles you find here have gone through some kind of formal publication process. If you find an article that you think you want to use, click the title to get more information. I'm clicking on the one here. And from this page, I can find the who, what, where, and when. So I've got the author, I've got a little abstract or summary, and I've got all the information about where and when it was published. So the nation is the publication, I've got my date, volume, issue, etc. If the abstract sounds good and I decide that I want to look further, I'm going to go ahead and look for full text links. Now with the PDF full text in this case, I can read the entire article. From the article page, I can also email it to myself. Selecting MLA citation style. Or I can grab a quick citation over here on the right as well. These citations aren't perfect, but they are great to get you started. And emailing yourself means that you'll always have a copy of this article as long as you have access to your UNCG email. So let's get back to our research guide page and try opposing viewpoints. This resource includes a lot of different types of sources, including articles, statistics, and viewpoint essays. Here I'm going to search Bernie Sanders and socialism because that's a term that I saw coming up in a lot of the other sources. You can see some of the different types of sources that are coming up here, academic journals, audio, news, images, magazines. For some topics like let's be broad and say communism, you'll also get viewpoint essays. These essays are great. Let's take a look at this one. You want to make sure you're keeping in mind, though, that these are inherently biased. Their whole purpose is to present a specific viewpoint on a topic. So they might be authoritative, accurate, and current, 
but they can still be very biased. This seems like a good time to talk about bias. It isn't necessarily bad for something to be biased, and there's probably at least some bias in every source you'll find. Just because something's biased, it doesn't mean you can't use it. It just means you need to be extra careful. If I'm using a source that I suspect is biased, I make sure it does a good job sourcing and I go through those sources to double check that my source is accurately representing the information that it's bringing in from other sources. You come across massive amounts of information every day from all kinds of different sources and in all kinds of different formats. This video is just a quick introduction, but your library assignment will help you start the process of gathering sources. If you have questions, please email me. My contact information is back on your research guide, including my email address here, and a link to your library assignment is included as well. Have fun with your research.